the Arkansas Razorbacks. Now, you and I had a lot of fun with this team last year. Sam Pittman is almost the perfect cultural fit because that that's one of the best or one of the best things about college football, right? Yes. Is these cultural fits that understand how to play inside of a program, how to build a program because you ain't going to build Arkansas the same way that you're going to build Clemson. No. You're not going to build uh Texas A&M the same way that you would build, you know, Kent State. Like all these places are different. And Arkansas is very different. Sam Pittman very different kind of head coach. You know, yes, sir, all that good stuff. Their win total this year is six. Like, if you had told me two years ago that their win total would be six coming into this season, yep. I'd have never believed it. That's right. But I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility. Either. Uh, to go over is plus 145, so it's juiced quite a bit. To go under is minus 175. Uh, this was the most improved defense in all of Power 5 last year. Like, they really showed up. Barry Odom. Knows what he's doing. He knows his strengths. Defensive line needed help, so they brought in some transfers. Linebacker and secondary should be even better this season. The offense under Kendall Bryles, uh, they impressed last season. With Felipe Frank at quarterback, I think they even got a little better with K.J. Jefferson, who who looks to be the starter this year. I was going to say, I think he's going to be the starter this year. Oh, I think he's going to be fantastic. And you got studs, man. Traylon Burks at wide receiver. Uh, you got uh, uh, Traylon Smith, who's, I think, going to be great at running back. They got an offensive line, and Sam Pittman knows offensive line. That's right. Like, he knows that. Now, I've talked all this big game, but I think that the ceiling six for them is, is six. Insane. Six is like, high. Yeah. FPI does project them to go six and six. But that's why the price is but, what it is, though. Yeah. So, I, I will I will take the under six at minus 175, but I'd love to see him make a bowl game. You're getting, you're getting plus 140-something, 45. Yeah. For... To you know, go to go to, to seven go, wins to get seven wins because it's just super unlikely. They play A and M on a uh, neutral site. They've got at Georgia, at Ole Miss, at LSU, at Alabama, and then of course at home Missouri, Auburn, Mississippi State. Uh, you got Texas coming in. Rice is the first game of the season, and they had they made improvements last year. Oh no, come on now! I understand. I'm come just on. I'm just I'm throwing it out there. I'm just throwing it out there. I do think that they're going to whip Rice. Don't get me wrong. Jesus. But what are we doing? <laughs> you going under as well? Yeah, I think I have to. I hate that. I hate that too. I, I was looking. For, I was looking forward to this number being lower because I didn't think it was going to be big. Yeah, it's it, six is crazy. I but a lot six of hype. is. I think six is the ceiling, though. I'd love for them to go to seven. If if two calls had been made different last season for them, they would have been a five and five team. That's right, and they should have. Yeah. They, got, they got hosed on both those calls. Yes, they did. Both those calls were wrong. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.